Hello everyone, it's me Juan Escamilla, created Dog Monkey Studios, and today I'm going to show you my update on my software development career. What I've been doing at ITT so far, and it's pretty fun. If you guys can remember, I showed that robot game that I was creating. Well, I changed it up a little bit. Rather than having grids, those little dots, you know, all over the place and having that pop sound, I changed it a lot. I mean, we, I've learned a lot from the professor, like how to do loops, how to uh, add color, and just... You'll see it. I'd rather show you guys than explain it because I can sit here for days explaining it and, and for some of you might you might not understand it, others will understand it. Uh, here I actually I'm gonna show you it's probably not the best, but this if you can remember my my daughter <laughs> she drew on it. But if you can remember, I had a bunch of dots, you know, on my grid, whatnot. So I drew a little key. Pretty much, you know, I, I drew it out just to see how it look. E is for, you know, the earth, and that's going to be green. You'll see zero are the bombs, and you can see right there there's an H. You can actually pick up health and give your health, give yourself more health. You start out with 100, and each bomb, uh, zero is a bomb. It's a earth bomb, so it'll be green. One is a, a water bomb. A water bomb, yes. Yeah, there we go, water bomb. And two is a dirt bomb. Okay, and uh, the, the reason I label it dirt is because I wanted to make that like yellow and the W's are all blue. Now you can't, in the game, you can't see where the bombs are, so you can only see the H. That's the only thing you can see. And also, let's, uh, let me find it. You can see that percent sign. Those are parts that you have to repair yourself. I put plus 50 at first, but it's not going to be plus 50. It's going to be plus 10. And you have to get to a total score of 100. Uh, the game ends when you get to 100 uh, parts to repair yourself. Or if you lose all your health. And let me show you guys. After I drew it here, you know, I had to see it. I had it in my mind, but I was like, okay, I need to draw it out so I can see what's going on. So basically, after you draw it here, you go to your computer and I use the word pad. And there you go. I translated it. I actually changed it up a bit from the last time, from the paper. I added more bombs and I added more uh, parts because I only had like five parts. And I was like, now nah, I got to make 100 or 10 parts because each one's more 10 points. And... You can see there's some in the water, but there's also bombs in the water, so it makes it difficult. You can't see the parts that are in the water, so the water is going to be the danger zone. And you can see, you'll be able to see the ones like the percent and the hashtag right there. Those are parts. You can see those in the game. Those are visible. I made them gray. So the only thing that you can't see are the bombs. So you're going to have to guess where they are, and you'll hear it. I actually have where it makes a little sound if you get hit by a bomb, so you know. And you'll... uh You'll actually see the health bar go down. So let's get rid of that. Let's break this down. And here's my actual program. Now I'm not going to show you the entire code, but basically this is how you get the colors. See what I'm saying? Red. The foreground's going to be red and dark green. C E, dark green, dark green. So it's going to be a green block. Same with the water, D, zero, everything. And as you can see, the zero matches the E, because the zero is the earth bomb, so it matches. E, which is Earth, so you can't see it. Alright, so let's go ahead and just hit start so I can show you guys. Okay. And that is what translates right there, guys. I called it Robot Survivor this time instead of Robot Game. Because you're a little Robot Survivor. See? The blue is right there, the water. The green is the Earth. The dirt, I made it yellow. Red, you see the H, that's the health points. And then you see the percent sign and the hashtag. Those are the parts. You can see them. Now, on the bottom, you can see player health. And you see the green bar right there. Player score, same thing. Uh, it's the same formula. Except rather than showing the uh, starting at 100, you start at 0. And it's going to add 10. Every time you get hit by a bomb, it's going to subtract 10. But if you pick up an H, then you're going to pick. Uh, you're going to add 10. And right there, you see the green bar. Rather than continue filling it up green, if I get an extra health, it's going to keep going to yellow up to 50 points because there's only five more pickups. If not, then you know, you'll know you see that red bar. The player score is going to be white and it's going to fill up until you get 100 points. So here we go, guys. Remember last time I showed you guys that we could move? Well, we figured out how to make it move. And it reloads all the time because this is a console game. It's not like, you know, uh, like a real game. I still don't understand why uh, in the program I'm telling it to check that space. So let's move down. It's checking down, and then you have to press down again to actually move. Because it's checking to see if there's something in that space. And if there's not, then it'll move. 
And I'm sure uh, if I spend more time with my professor, I can actually figure that out. But beforehand, uh, before I used to show the little white lines. So it would be like, okay, he's heating up the space, but you know he's not uh, is not rendering again. Well, I figured it out how to keep the keep the grid intact and keep the colors rather than make the blocks disappear. See, you heard a bomb, and now down here, see how it's red? I lost ten points of health. So let's keep going down. Oh, plus 10 health. Nice. Now my green bar is back up. And then I hit another bomb. So my bar is going down again. And here, let's pick up this part. You have found a repair part. Plus 10 points. And then I hit another bomb right there. And the cool thing is, I was moving down to go down there. And you saw that the bomb hit. So I, lo I lost the points. Well, because like I said, it's checking to see if there's something in that space, and then it'll move. See, I picked up the part. I press down. It picks up the part. Now I can move down there if I want. If not, I can continue going this way to the right. See, that's why the white pops up. It's checking to see what's in that space, and there's nothing there, so you can move. And then it refills the color back again. It's all part of the code. Uh, I had it. It took me a while because I had it where it changed the color, but in player health would also be green and it's like okay well it's not really what I want now I'm not gonna sit here and I just want to show you guys see if I can get up oh, there's another bomb right there so see the health bar goes down I would like to die to show you guys but you would think I'm the developer so I would know where all the bombs are but I changed it from my paper so there we go plus 10 health so basically, if you run out, let me close this program. And it's on the grid. Nope, it's on it's on game, sorry. I took away weapons, so my guy doesn't have weapons anymore. But yeah, there you go. You have experienced a malfunction. That's what it's going to say is right here. You can see the code right here. If G player get health, that's your player is equal to zero then we're going to display this message you have experienced a malfunction it's going to read that line you're going to hit enter yeah that's not the best and then it's going to end the program is going to end and then right here you have acquired all parts to successfully repair yourself and then it'll end if you get a hundred points then the game ends that's pretty much it guys that's what's been eating up my time a lot and I have two more weeks to complete it the instructor told us how to just make the grid the little dots and that was it and then he helped us how to make the movements and that was pretty much it now every that extra added stuff uh, in the link you can see I'll show I'll show that video where I showed you the program at first but now I added the color and I added the player health bar and I added the player score bar so it's fun. That's the that was the point is to learn what we did, and then show that we learned it by adding by modifying the game. So I modified the game by taking away the guy's weapons, and then adding the player health bar, adding the player score bar, and then adding the color for the green. You know to make the land module. Now I'm gonna figure out how to load a second level. So after you're done, like say you uh, complete all the hundred parts, says you have successfully repaired yourself. Rather than exiting out of the program, I'm going to I'm going to find out how to load a new one. And that's going to be a little bit tricky cuz I still I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to research it. So uh, uh if I figure it out, I'll update you guys because this program's for me to keep. You know, I have the copy here and I'm turning in a copy to the instructor. So it's very fun. I've been having a lot of fun doing this and you know, I can definitely see myself doing this in the future. Like I said, this is basic visual Visual Basic, that's what it's called. And it's a real simple language. And this is a console application. You know, there's a bunch of other applications like web applications and stuff like that. You're better off making games not on a console application because you're very limited. That's, you know, it's just a console box. It tells you, it's just to read information. But thanks a lot, guys. And I will see you guys next week.